Hello, my name is Richard David Kane, and some of you might know me from CBB's Swashbuckle and CBBC's Horrible Histories and Class Dismissed and my latest show, Big Fat Like. And I am lucky enough to be here today to take part in Right Here, Right Now, which is Polka Theatre's creative writing challenge. But don't worry, I've not written anything. You guys have, apparently. You've written some fantastic entries, and I have been given one of them today to read to you. So this is a, an amazing short story called The Stolen Binoculars and the Magic Pencil by Ibrahim from King's Oak Primary School. I don't have your surname, Ibrahim, but you're, you're just like Madonna. You don't have one, do you? Enigmatic. Um, so please, boys and girls, mums and dads, and... Cats and dogs and rats, maybe, we have those in London. All take your seats as I read to you this fantastic story. The Stolen Binoculars and the Magic Pencil by Ibrahim. It was the summer holidays and Annie was bored. She wanted to have some new toys to play with, so she went to the attic to see what she could find. Inside the attic, she found her old treasure box and inside there was a little teddy bear. And she also found a magic pencil. It was magic because when you use it to draw things, they come to life. She took the pencil down to her room and drew a pair of binoculars so she could watch some birds from high up. Then one day, a robber sneaked into her house and sneakily stole the binoculars from her house. They would be very useful to spy on people. Luckily, Annie saw the robber leave the house, so she started to follow him. He was wearing dark clothes and a black mask and sunglasses. Fortunately, Annie was a fast runner and had muscles as hard as a wall. She pushed the robber down, <laughs> took the binoculars and ran back home. When she got inside, she locked all the doors. To calm herself down, she took out her binoculars and watched the birds on the trees, seagulls, black and blue birds. Then she used the pencil to draw a box and a lock. She put the binoculars in the box and locked it. No one would steal them ever again. What a cool story that was. Thank you so much, Ibrahim. It's very imaginative and very funny. I like how she pushed the rubber down, just like, I'm going. Um, so thank you all, thank you all for taking part in Right Here, Right Now. It's such a brilliant initiative and keep writing those stories. The world needs your stories and your creativity. It's brilliant. It makes you smarter and everyone loves them. Um, and yeah, keep getting involved. Thank you so much. Goodbye.